All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, Ash and Coinuts. Uh, if you're new, please subscribe and turn on post notifications. Today, I've got a box of quarters, and looks like one of the rolls exploded. Kind of weird. Um, hopefully, I find all of them, but I'm not seeing any enders right at the bat. There. Most of them are turned over or um, don't have any of the ends uh, visible, like these ones. But um, I'll check for enders. If I see anything cool, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, I'll get to the wrap up. Be back. All right, guys, I just finished the box of quarters, and here are my finds. Starting off with the Americans, I got a total of 12. Um, I almost hit silver here. One year off, which is 1965. No mint mark, I don't think so. Oh, oopsies. Yeah, I don't think I see a mint mark. Either side. So that would be uh, Philadelphia. And then for silver, I got one. A um, 1967 bicentennial. I th no, sorry. Uh, I think it's centennial coin with the cougar on it. Um, they made both 50% and 80% this year, but I think this is my, is, this is probably 80% because just by the, the shine of it and the sound. But there's no other really way of telling because they both weigh the same, surprisingly, surprisingly not. But yeah. And then I checked, um, the last time I found a silver quarter and that was my first one was the last one. So this is my second one found quarter hunting. That was six months ago, but I kept hunting the quarters, which are really tough to hunt, but yeah, finally found another one. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video of Cornell Hunting Quarters, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and don't forget to turn on post notifications. Goodbye. <laughs>